You're watching WFMY News 2, the triad's leader at 11. Well, instead of stuffing your face at the Dixie Classic Fair, why not paint it? Artist Cheryl Hernandez told WFMY News 2 photojournalist Fred Hall, it's not as hard as it looks. Would it be okay if I put some light blue in there? So I was doing face painting for these kids at a church. Hey, I'm just going to go over your eyes. I met somebody there the last year. She taught me how to use the makeup, and I've been working with her ever since. What are you doing for Halloween? Um, I don't know. I had natural talent, and I also was able to train under some of the some of the best face painters here in the area. That's cool. So pretty. Thank High five. You. So it didn't take me very long, maybe a couple weeks. I mean, it's a matter of learning the brush strokes and then looking at the pictures and learning how to use the sponge. So anyone can do it. It's like learning how to write. You practice it and then you get it. Yeah, just a little bit. Everybody has a different facial structure and I try to make everything work for everybody's face. Right here, you're going to be the best Spider-Man ever. My favorite part is when you show the little kids the mirror and they see what they are and they're like they're transformed to something completely new and different. You did great. You want to see? Wow. That's my favorite. A lot of fun. The Dixie Classic Fair, by the way, runs through Monday, October 11th. You can find ticket information and check out some of the other fair activities on our website. Just search for the Dixie Classic Fair.